So Jealous Woke Losers are canceling legendary Batman writer Frank Miller yet again. The first time they did it was over this. By the same token, I can tell you squat about Islam. I don't know anything about it, but I know a lot about Al-Qaeda, and I want them all to burn in hell. Now, just two short months later, they're trying to cancel the man yet again, saying this time, you're making NFTs? Those things, they're terrible. They're monstrous. How dare you do that, Frank Miller? In my opinion, though, this has very little to do with what he's selling or what he's saying and everything to do with that whole woke, broke, loser bit. Why? Because this guy, he keeps making money hand over fist. $840,000 worth for one picture. That's right, he was a one picture for that. Yep, in the immortal words of Hank Hill. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt. You make me sick, you big baby. Baby, want a bottle? A big dirt bottle? Ah, these folks, they never, ever learn, do they? You and I, we're going to talk about this today. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. Oh, man, does baby want a bottle, a big dirt bottle. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you were doing excellently. And when I saw this stuff first announced, this, it came up two weeks ago, the sale. It just happened today, by the way. But when this was announced, I knew these people would go after Frank Miller and they would try to cancel him for this. So, you may not be aware of this, but Frank Miller, he attracts these cancel culture types like moths to the proverbial flame. They're always trying to ruin him. And the state of the industry right now, you can cancel a person like Frank Miller. In fact, they did it in July. That's what you see right here. Now, why do they do that? Well, number one, Frank Miller, he's unapologetic in what he's created over the years. Number two, he won't come out and regularly defend himself. And number three, he's successful. And these woke, broke losers, they hate that about people. See, Frank Miller makes money hand over fist. In fact, his name is a license to make money, pretty much. And anyone successfully selling NFTs, notice that word there, by the way, successful. A lot of these woke, broke losers, they try to sell NFTs too, but they can't do it. So anyone that's successful at it, yeah, you got to take them down. And Frank Miller, oh, he's very, very successful. Now, if you don't know what an NFT is, by the way, this may make some people mad, but first of all, I'm going to call this fad buying. You know, this stuff, it's gained popularity, but an NFT, that stands for a non-fungible token, and essentially what you're talking about is a certificate of authenticity for a digital item. An NFT, it gives someone definitive ownership of said digital item, though people are still able to copy the item for themselves in the case of digital images. So Frank Miller decides he's going to create 11 art pieces, all told. Some of them are amazing, too. I absolutely love his work and the way that it comes together. But one of those pieces, this one right here, yeah, it doesn't just sell. It sells for more money than Frank Miller has ever made off an art piece in his entire career. I mean, really drink that in. That's what these things are selling for now. Insane amounts of money. Now, that art piece is very recognizable, by the way, because of the role that the characters there played within Sin City. And I want to read you this, not only to explain what the art piece is, but also to show you the amount of money that is being thrown around with this. I mean, it is absolutely... Absolutely crazy. So I Love You, Nancy Callahan is a one-on-one piece animated with sound using original comic book panels that depict the death of Detective Hardigan, the character played by Bruce Willis in the 2005 film adaptation. The auction took place over 24 hours and culminated in a three-way bidding war that saw the price leap from $435,000, that's crazy by the way, to $591,000 then went to $800,000 before finally landing it. Get this here. I mean, really drink this total in. 
$840,986.16. Now, NFTs, they have become a very, very easy target. Why? Because, quote unquote, environmental impact. It's fun, by the way, to think. People that sit on their phones and computers all day complaining about things complain about the impact that people have because of electronics. I mean, that's crazy, right? We've had the joyful woke folks like Marsha Cook, that would be the widow of Darwin Cook, and a very, very horrible person. You should check them out on Twitter because, yeah, my goodness, come out and attack this kind of stuff, saying this, it's an environmental disaster. You shouldn't participate in that either, while, of course, criticizing it while using Twitter again while being on the phone. I always love comments like this, too, with people telling you they're a fan of what you do. They want you to succeed while always trying to get between you and your wallet. I loved your work. Loved. You notice that? Loved. Past tense. I've bought three stories from multiple friends. You know, so hey, I'm supporting you everywhere. But, but this is disheartening. The environmental damage your NFT will do is real and not worth this paycheck. Yeah, here's actual footage of Frank Miller doing his best Scrooge McDuck impression. And those comic artists throwing fits on Twitter. Yeah, let's just say the lottery of life. It hasn't been so kind. There are dozens and dozens of comments like that. They come from artists. They come from media shills and on. But my favorite comments come from artists that have tried the NFT. NFT thing. Basically, they failed at it. They couldn't make that stuff sell, so they've erased all record of it. And what do they do? They come out against NFTs and anyone that's successful there. This is an actual comment from somebody that did that. They failed at it, and well, now they're going to speak out against this stuff. Look at this and think about the hypocrisy. This is very, I guess you're not above doing a cash grab. That right there is hilarious to me, but listen to the rest of this. At the expense of the planet and the people who live on it, yeah, when this person did it, they weren't endangering anyone, but when people like Frank Miller do it, ah, they're going to end us all. What monsters, right? What monsters indeed. Now, I want to make something clear, too. As far as complaints go, that's fine. You can voice your discontent with anything out there, but you know what? These folks have gone further from what I understand. They've gone after the very places that are hosting this artwork that have teamed up with Frank Miller, and they're trying to cancel him at that level. Good luck, by the way, because they're making money hand over fist. Yeah, they're not going to give up Frank Miller easily. The problem is, though, that some of them, they do indeed give up people. You can see that right here. This is from two months ago, where Frank Miller was uninvited from one of the biggest conventions within the UK. Why? Because somebody said, oh my God, that comment that he made before and the book he made, holy terror. Yeah, that makes him some type of istifo. See, as far as this subject goes, I think that these words, they should resonate with anyone. I can promise you that no one is safe. Not one of you. Not one of you. Not anyone out that door. No one is safe. As long as someone is willing to say one sentence takes one sentence and uh, and then there's no more ground